Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to review the Kali Linux 2022.2. In this release we get various impressive updates, all of which are ready for immediate download or updating. So let's start. We get the second update of this year with many more updates. So in this update, we get a major update for the desktop environment that is GNOME 42. New version bump for the GNOME desktop environment. The shell theme now includes a more modern look, removing the arrow from the pop-up menu. And you can see the rounded edges on the windows. And also we get upgraded and tweak the dash to dock extension, making it integrate better with a new look. Kali Linux brings the new version, GNOME 42 which is a more polished experience in comparison to GNOME 40 and 41. And we will get the dark theme also. You can change the dark theme as well as the light theme in this version of Kali Linux. So Kali Linux 2022.2 comes with GNOME 42.1 version. These are the pre-installed applications we get in the Kali Linux. In this update we get the new icons for many applications. And here you can see the new icons for Nmap. We will get a new feature which is the screenshot and screen recording tool. It is a fantastic and simple way in terms of user experience to take a screenshot. Or you can take the screenshot by dragging the location where you want. Simply select the location. And take the screenshot as well as record the selected screen. You do not need any third-party application to record the screen. You will take the screenshot of the current window using Alt plus print screen keys. And if you want to take a screenshot of the full screen you have to press the Shift plus print screen keys. The next update is KDE Plasma 5.24. This new Plasma release forces smoothing out wrinkles, evolving the design, and improving the overall feel and usability of the environment. The next update for the XFCE desktop environment. We get the update for this desktop environment, like disabling the motherboard beep. Default wallpaper for multi-monitor. Fix mouse pointer size issue. Panel layout for ARM devices. The next update is tweaks for the terminal. Small changes to the ZSH syntax highlighting color to improve. Now you can see the clearer output with color differentiating the type of file or directory. The next update is Kali ScreenSaver. We get an awesome screensaver. But it is not pre-installed in the Kali Linux. But we have to install it by using this command. sudo apt install Kali screensaver. And you have to install the Hollywood Activate package to launch it immediately from the terminal. So the command is sudo apt install Hollywood Activate. Now you can run the Hollywood Activate command in the terminal to activate the Kali ScreenSaver. If you want this ScreenSaver on Mac OS or Windows. I will give the links in the description below. You can activate the ScreenSaver anytime if you want. You have to just type the Hollywood Activate command in the terminal. And you will get this ScreenSaver on our screen. The next update for Kali on Kaputper. Now we get the official support for the BTRFS snapshotting in Kali Linux. Its features like boot snapshot, browser snapshot, additional automatic snapshots, etc. The next update for WinCax 3.1. This update eliminates a restriction preventing GUI applications from being run as root. Now we can start any GUI application with sudo. The next update is new tools in Kali. It is not possible if we get an update of Kali Linux and new tools are not added. In this update, new tools have been added to the network repositories of Kali Linux. Brute Shark Network Forensic Analysis Tool, NFAT. Evil WinRM Ultimate WinRM Shell. 
Hack Rawler Web Crawler designed for easy quick discovery of endpoints and assets. HTTPX Fast and Multipurpose HTTP Toolkit. Laps Dumper Dumps Laps Passwords. PHP Sploit Stealth Post Exploitation Framework. PE Dump Dump Win32 Executable Files. Sentry Peer SIP Peer to Peer Honeypot for VoIP. Sparrow Wi-Fi Graphical Wi-Fi Analyzer for Linux. Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 Powerful Framework for Rogue Access Points. These are the new tools added to the Kali Linux. You can use it now and enjoy the all future in the Kali Linux 2022.2. The next update for Kali Net Hunter. A new WPS Attacks tab was added in the Net Hunter app. So, these are the new features and updates in the Kali Linux 2022.2. Let me know in the comment which one you like. So that is it. This is the Kali Linux 2022.2 review. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel. So you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.